Today we'll be looking at something that's called sampling methods. And now this is really the start of statistics. But before we get started looking at some samples, which are in most cases really surveys, we're going to have to go over some vocabulary. Our first vocabulary word is population. Now we know just like a population of a town, that's the number or amount of people that live in the town. Well, population, that's going to be either the amount of people or the group of people that we have in our survey. Now, if the population is really, really large, what makes it easier for us to conduct our survey is if we just survey a sample. Now, what a sample is, it's a smaller group that represents the population. For example, let's say that the population can be all of the students in our school. Now, we know that's going to be a few hundred. That would be a lot of people to survey. Now, to take a sample of the school population would be to maybe just survey one or two classrooms. It gives us a good idea about all the information that has to do with the school, but we only have to ask two classrooms. That would be a good example of a sample. And now finally down at the bottom, this is the mean. And this is basically another word for the average. So if we were to take a survey of a sample population of the school, for example, let's say we asked two sixth grade classrooms how many hours they watch TV per day, we would take all of our information, we would add the numbers up, and then divide it by the number of students that we asked, and that would give us our mean, or average, and we'll learn more about the mean and use the mean a little bit later on when we really get into statistics. So now we have an example of a form of sampling that we're going to look at. We're going to try to identify the population, we're going to identify the sample, and then what we want to do is ask ourselves, does it make sense to use the sample in this case? So let's see what we're looking at here. You want to know the average or the mean number of hours students watch TV at a large school. You survey two classrooms. So I'm going to go back through this. I'm trying to find out how many hours per average the students at this school watch TV. We're being told that it's a large school and we're using a sample because it's saying you survey two rooms. We only survey two classrooms. So I'm gonna go back and identify what is the population. Well, the population, I don't have a number, but I know who is being surveyed, and it's the students at this large school. So I'm gonna write that down. Students at large So if I, I've identified now the population, I want to see, is there a sample? Yes, there is a sample. Since the school is so large, we've decided to only survey two rooms. So what is the sample? The sample is the two rooms that we're surveying. So I'm going to put in two rooms. Now for the last part, does it make sense? Does it make sense to use a sample? And in this case, it does, because remember, this is a large school, so I don't want to have to survey everyone. What I'm going to do is just survey the students in two classrooms. So yes, it does make sense. And it makes sense to use a sample of a population when the population is very large. Now, let's look at another example. If we were just conducting a survey in the classroom, it wouldn't make sense to use a sample. And the reason why is classrooms usually only have 30, 35 students at the very most. So we can conduct a survey with about 30 people. That's not a lot. So it always makes sense to use a sample when the population is very large. Now in our last example, we are going to look at what's called the mean. Remember, that was our third vocabulary word on the bottom. And the mean is basically the average. So let's have a look at this. The mean number of hours of television watched for the whole school, that's the large school we were talking about a few minutes ago, is five. So the average number of hours each student watches TV per day is five hours. Now let's go back to our sample because we took a sample using just two classrooms. It's classroom A and classroom B. Classroom A, on average, watches TV for 6.2 hours per day. Classroom B watches television at an average of 4.7 hours a day. Now what we're going to do 
is look at our two samples and compare it to the mean for the whole school. So the mean for the whole school is five hours. Classroom A has a mean of 6.2 hours, which would mean that classroom A has a greater or larger average than the school. Because everyone knows 6.2 is definitely larger than five. Now let's go down to classroom B that had a mean or an average of 4.7 hours of television watched per day. If we go back and look at the mean for the whole school, classroom B actually had a smaller average. So it's definitely less than the five hour mean of the school. So what we did in this example is we located the mean for the entire population and we compared it to our two sample populations. In the case of classroom A, we see that classroom A had a larger mean than the population and classroom B had a smaller mean than the total population.